while they were there the time came for her to deliver her child but she was compelled to give birth in a primitive place a shelter for animals because there was no place for them in the inn we are meant to meditate on the contrast between this unspeakably primitive setting baser even than the traveler's hostel a tiny bethlehem and the palace of augustus on the palatine hill in rome the site from which the census decree undoubtedly went out quite naturally we associate power with luxury and the possession of fine things but in light of this unsettling narrative we realize that such an association would be mistaken the power that animates the cosmos has much more to do with the emptying of self than with the pampering of self augustus home in the heart of the capital city of a world spanning empire would be the safest and most comfortable place imaginable while a stable or a cave outside bethlehem would be just about the most vulnerable least protected space that we could imagine real power comes not from the protection of the ego from danger but rather from willingness to expose the ego to danger for the sake of love curios jesus has begun his battle in short with curios augustus a tale of competing kingdoms competing conceptions of power is being told and she gave birth to her first born son and wrapped him in bands of cloth augustus was certainly considered the freest man in the world of the first century wielding absolute political power commanding an unchallenged army he could do practically whatever he wanted there were no restrictions placed on the rangeness of his will but the son born to joseph and mary is from the first moment wrapped up tied confined bound by no one augustus seems to be utterly free but real freedom luke is telling us is enjoyed by the child totally bound by his father's will and hence tied to the good of the world he has come to serve once he has decided to create god cannot remain indifferent to the world and its needs on the contrary he is bound by a fiercely parental love to everything that participates in his being authentic divine freedom therefore has nothing to do with a capricious voluntarism whereby god groundlessly and arbitrarily decides how or whether he will act the christ child wrapped up in swaddling clothes is the icon of this god of bound freedom a god who faces down the ersetz divinity on the palatine hill